I'm not even joking, guys. Giant is broken right now. This deck is third and fourth in the world right now, and there's tons of people inside of the top 100 running Giant. And here's the thing. Before, it was always Giant Graveyard, so Giant wasn't even the win condition, but now you're seeing decks like this arise where it's Giant Pump and then a bunch of support cards. So finally, after a very long time, Giant is a win condition again, and you don't only have to use it with the Graveyard, and it's all because of the Dagger Duchess. It's actually insane how much the Duchess has changed the meta. These new Tower Troops, the Cannoneer 2, the same thing happened. It's like when a new Tower Troop comes in the game, the meta completely shifts, and what's good is different. So now we're actually seeing Giant as a win condition good again, because the Duchess pairs well inside of Beatdown, and then beat down is good against it. And because literally almost everyone in the top 1000 is running her, this is why we're seeing a beat down meta constantly. I already did a video on Golem, Lava Hound, and now it is time for Giant. I mean, beat down just has no sign of slowing down anytime soon. So we have two pumps down. This is kind of the way the deck works. You overwhelm your opponent by stacking pumps. Now you might be wondering, Okay, well, what if they have Earthquake? Well, then your Night Witch is obnoxious for them to deal with, and your Phoenix. And the thing is, Earthquake isn't even used in this meta because of all the cards right now that would just be super annoying for the Earthquake to play against. Like, first of all, the Night Witch is one, but then... Also, just in general, in this type of meta, you need to have a poison, I feel like, or just some sort of spell that actually can deal damage to units effectively. Like, so many people are running the Evolve Zap, which you see in this deck, and I actually should have gone Giant at the bridge there. That was a pretty big mistake. I realized with this massive Elixir advantage I have, I should have done that. It would have been better than playing it in the back, but... It doesn't even matter anyway. Do you see how much more elixir we have than this guy? And I didn't even use my Evolve Bomber yet. It doesn't even matter. But anyway, we're going to go Zap here. He went for his, but I'm going to send another Giant here because his Duchess is out of knives, so we might as well keep up the pressure here. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. No, nah, it doesn't even matter. Look at this. I don't even know why I was worried. I was worried because I don't know what happened. I think it was the Giant... I, I thought died earlier than it did, but we literally took his tower just like that. So there you go. I mean, this kind of shows it here in the first game. The giant is just an incredible tank. I think it's a lot better than the golem, especially because it costs three less elixir and it has nearly the same amount of health. So it's like practically the same thing, except you're not getting the golemites, which means your cycle is just going to be a lot better since it's only five elixir. It's easier for you to stack stuff. And yeah, this was a pretty nice and easy game one here against another person running a different kind of giant deck. But yeah, that was a pretty cool first game. I think it proves my point about how Giant is meta because we face Giant Graveyard, but that's old school. This is what people are running now. Giant Pump. I'm telling you guys, it's crazy because the pump was originally before. It was only with Golem and Elixir Golem. So it's just strange. We see it come into play inside a Giant. And Lava should be a fairly decent matchup. I don't want to jinx it. But the fact that I have a Night Witch of Phoenix and Arrows just makes me think this should be not that hard. Now, I am going to have to really try to get rid of these Skelly Drags here. Yeah, we do manage to do that. I don't know if he's going to get the tower here. No, 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 he definitely won't. So this might seem like a very bad position, but I'm completely fine with this because I think it's normal against Lava to have a fairly bad start. And then you can pretty easily bounce back, especially by stacking pumps, because again, it's yet another deck that doesn't have an effective way of dealing with the pump, because obviously lava decks typically have arrows and zap. They don't even usually have a fireball anymore because they want to run the zap and have it evolved, because the evolved zap is obviously really broken, and then the arrows, because there's just a lot of people running... I feel like swarmy things and the Evolve Bomber to the arrows are a very effective counter against that. So he's going to Lava again. What I'm actually going to do is Little Prince, same lane as the Lava, and then we're going to get a second pump down. Now, this is likely going to be the last pump I play before I go in for a push, because otherwise then we're just running out of time. So 
I'm going to go in for a giant in the back in the left lane because we're pretty much just going to let him take the tower. I already know I identified there's no way we're going to defend that, so there's no sense in trying to because that's just kind of pointless to over defend. And instead, we want to make sure we get as much down as possible for this giant. Here we go. So, little P ability coming in, and we're going to get an evolved zap on the Inferno Drag. And I'm telling you, there's no way in hell he's stopping this. I'm sorry. It is just not happening. See what I mean? When you have the Elixir lead, what you're capable of with this deck, this deck is just disgusting. And it's why the pump pairs so well with it. It's just... it. It's just ridiculous. I don't know. We go for an Evolve Bomber here. I kind of wanted it to... You know what? I'm going to arrow that. I, I think it's worth... Uh, okay, that was... Mm, I expected that to be a little better. That was a tiny bit underwhelming, but I don't think it was that bad. I was thinking of pumping up again, but I think it was better to play this. Yeah, I had to... See, if I pumped up, he would have gone Lava on the front, so I'm kind of glad I did that. His Evo Zap is going to get some good value, though, to be fair. Now, because he just used the Lava, now I'm going to pump up because he has no way of pressuring me. I mean, I guess he technically could go in for a Balloon if he wanted to, but I feel like it would be a very bad play, especially now that the Duchess is... Uh, she charged back up, but he decided to do it anyway. Okay, so Evo Barbs. Let's actually be a little cautious here. The balloon is going to get one connection. I can kind of tolerate that. And now he doesn't have his Barbarians in cycle for if I go giant here. I'm thinking this might be a little annoying for him to defend. Well, isn't he going to go Inferno Drag? Yeah, he did play it, but I guess he didn't have the Elixir to play it immediately. So he played it kind of late. But he is going to defend, but I'm kind of okay with this situation. I mean, maybe mm, it's a little annoying the Inferno Drag is there, but like I said, I'm kind of okay with this. This is actually going to be the last pump I play of the game. Oh shoot, we got to be a little careful here. I did not expect him to go for the King. That was very surprising. I feel like it was kind of a bad play though, to be fair, just because, I don't know, the King, I feel like he should have known he wasn't going to take that out. I went for the Evolve Bomber there because I was predicting that he was going to go for the Evo Barbs. He didn't do that though. Oh wait, hold up. We got to watch out here. He might, yeah, he is going to balloon, but Evo Zap hopefully can carry us here. We really need it to. Come on. Oh boy. Okay, that was clutch. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to go Giant in the pocket. Evolve Bomber. If he plays Barbs, maybe it lines up, please. Giant gets a shot, but wait, that's not going to be enough. We have two Phoenixes down, though. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Um, You know what? Wait, hold up. I can just Collector. <laughs> Yo, one of the rare times you want to go for a defensive Collector, and then Arrow Zap, definitely enough. And that was a close game. Wow. All right, so we're in a game here against Lucas, and look at this. We're three for three on matching the Dagger Duchess. I'm telling you guys, it's basically a requirement in the top 1,000 now. Like, if you have the Dagger Duchess upgraded, I don't know what you're doing if you're not using her, because she's for sure the best tower troop. It's, it's just not even close. Everyone in CRL, I don't know if you guys watch CRL, but it's basically the competitive league in this game. Probably a lot of you guys have heard of it. I don't know if you watch it, but if you didn't watch it, Every single person was running the Dagger Duchess, like, every game. I, I'm, I'm, I kid you guys not. Every single game, it was being used. So, it's like it shows when people have the option, it's what's being played. Now, not everyone's going to have it upgraded, because, of course, not everyone had wild cards saved up to get her to the max level. But, if it's like, if you are capable of it, then you're going to do it. So, this guy's running Drill. Drill is very good in this meta. It's probably up there. It's probably... I actually don't know between the Giant and the Drill what is better right now. It's it's pretty close. Can't believe I'm saying that. Can't believe I'm saying that, but it's true. It's pretty close. Wow, he had to NATO. You know what? I'm going to go in because his Duchess is out of knives. I feel like it could be worth... It might be really dumb, but I'm just going to go for it. I, because, yeah, I mean, his NATO's out of hand now. And, yeah, I mean, that was pretty decent, I think. Giant got some solid damage. I can't really complain with that. Only thing now is we do got to really watch out because, yeah, he's going to... he's He did go in here. I don't really think it's that bad. And we actually still got another elixir from the pump. So, yeah, I, th I think we still got adequate value out of that pump because the drill's four elixir. So, I'm completely fine that he committed 
for to take out a pump that already got a little bit of elixir. That to me seems like an okay trade. Now I don't know how I haven't used my zap yet. I better get that down <laughs> in the near future so I can play the evolution. That would be ideal here. But we are winning, so it's not like I did anything wrong, but it's just something uh, we do want to make sure that we, you know, we take advantage of that. Um, okay, so I thought he was going to NATO with that Evolve Bomber. I was pretty scared. Luckily, that didn't end up happening. But yeah, you can see when you're against decks that have the poison, you can kind of bait out the poison. So if you're going in for a Night Witch, they might poison it, and then that means you can pump, and then vice versa. So it's like if they poison the pump, well, then you use the Night Witch. And the Giant got a shot? Oh my goodness. This is what I mean. That range and health buff really helped the Giant out. It is... It's it's pretty dang good now. I, I gotta say, it's, it's pretty good. Um, that sucks. That's not in range. I'm just gonna zap and, uh, Night Witch. I don't know if we need to pump again the rest of this game, actually. We're in a really solid spot. I, I think, honestly, if I just keep doing what we're doing, we're, we're pretty much in the clear, especially because I got my Evolve Zap ready to go, which, of course, is nice to have, even just as a bonus to the amount of damage you're getting on towers. It's pretty cool and very helpful. Maybe I could get the Evolve Bomber lined up here. Yeah, we are. Yes, sir. There we go. And even though he NATO'd it back, do you see that? That is why it is just so, so broken. Make sure to like and subscribe. He is not happy after that loss. <laughs>